What's your name? Connie. What do you do, Connie? I'm singer. You're a singer. When I look back, it is like it's a different person and I was so small and I had no teeth. I still can't believe that I made it to the final. It is a bit of a risk to put yourself back in front of the judges as I've changed so much. You want to know what's hot? Connie Talbot, then and now. That's what's hot. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Samantha and for today's What's Hot Topic, we have to talk about one of the most viral singing sensations to come out of a talent show. Yes, I'm talking about Connie Talbot. Now, over the years on talent shows, we've seen so many young acts come on and truly launch their careers once they step right in front of Simon Cowell. So I thought, why not relive some of her most amazing moments throughout her career and talk about what she's doing now. Connie began to sing as soon as she could talk. One of her favorite things to do when she was younger was watch The Wizard of Oz with her grandmother, Violet. Violet sadly passed away before Connie became an international star, but she honored her in the best way possible. During her season one Britain's Got Talent audition, Connie sang her and her grandmother's favorite song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Connie was six years old at the time of her 2007 audition, and as soon as she opened her mouth to speak, everyone thought she was so adorable because she was missing her front teeth. Once Connie began to sing, the audience was mesmerized with how adorable she was and how fantastic of a singer she was. Amanda Holden got all choked up and started crying. Even Simon Cowell looked moved, and this was back in the days when Simon Cowell was still kind of mean. It was a no-brainer when all of the judges decided to vote her through to the next round of the competition. When Connie made it all the way to the final, she once again performed Somewhere Over the Rainbow. In the final, Connie lost out to the prize to opera singer Paul Potts. And even though Paul won, Connie still kept a great attitude. After Connie's success on Britain's Got Talent, Simon Cowell wanted to sign her to a record deal with Psycho and Sony BMG. But after a little while, they decided to no longer go through with the deal. Simon said that he felt like Connie was just simply too young. But Connie didn't let this failed record deal get her down. Instead, she went on to sign with Rainbow Recording Company and put out her album, Over the Rainbow. This led to her winning the Guinness Book of World Records Youngest Artist in the UK to ever reach the charts and the youngest ever to receive a gold record. I mean, wow, you guys, that is insane. Connie went on to make multiple talk show appearances, including the Oprah Winfrey Show and the Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she got to perform and she was still so cute. Connie later released Christmas music and went on to record an hour-long Christmas special for television. She was just eight years old at the time, making her one of the youngest artists ever to have their own television special. Connie went on to have a huge career overseas. In Asia, she decided in 2014 to donate her concert earnings to the Seoul Ferry Disaster. People were disaster. so happy to see that of, Connie was still focused on charity throughout her career, even when she was super so. famous, but and she yeah, still yeah. is now. She also became an ambassador for Marine Toys for Tots. She's also uh, going to donate uh, some proceeds from the sale of her Christmas album as well this year for Toys for From 2010 to 2011, much of Connie's appearances and performances were in Asia. She got to perform at the G20 World Summit in Seoul in front of the world's biggest leaders. This is a crazy accomplishment for someone so young. And she also performed in China for over 400 million people watching on television for Chinese New Year. From 2011 to 2012, Connie sang at the Young Voices concerts. She broke another Guinness World Record, this time at the O2 Arena. She had the largest number of background singers ever to accompany one lead vocalist at a public venue. You guys, she had 6,031 children helping her sing at the O2. 
okay, that number is too big for me to read. That is just insane. Um, but congratulations to her breaking all these records. And just when you thought Connie was done learning new skills and performing all over the world, she decided to start learning how to play the piano. You've probably seen some of her viral videos over on her YouTube channel with over 1.8 million subscribers. She has garnered over 200 million views on her videos and she is just as phenomenal as she was back when we saw her on BGT in 2007. Connie went on to release more albums, including her Beautiful World album and her EP Gravity, and most recently, her Matter To Me album in 2016. While spending time in the US, Connie got to work with huge songwriter and producer Toby Gad. Yes, the same guy who writes songs for Beyonce. In 2019, Connie shocked the world when she returned to Britain's Got Talent, The Champions. 12 years later, she looked gorgeous when she was walking out onto the stage and the judges were so excited to see her. She performed her original song, Never Give Up On Us. Amanda Holding got teary-eyed again and it was like deja vu back from her audition when Amanda cried. What was interesting about this audition was that Simon credited Connie for making Britain's Got Talent such a phenomenon. I don't think we'd be sitting here today if it wasn't for you, so we owe you a massive thank you. While she didn't get very far on Britain's Got Talent The Champions, Connie decided that she was going to go on to America's Got Talent The Champions in 2020. She once again got to sing in front of Simon Kell and Alicia Dixon, who were singing her praises as she walked out onto the stage. She performed another original song called I Would. And though she didn't win the show, I feel like she's the real winner here because she's gotten so many fans over the years, she's gotten so many views, and she's still being talked about in 2021. Connie now posts regularly on her social media, whether it's TikTok or Instagram. She has 379,000 followers on TikTok where she posts videos of covers, little skits that she does, and she even made a video reenacting her viral BGT audition. Connie. Connie, how old are you, Connie? All right, you guys. Well, I'm sure Connie has more music coming for us in the future, but as you guys know, there are some huge fans out there, so let me know in the comments down below if there are some other important moments in her life that I may have missed. And while you're on YouTube, you should hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social medias and head over to talentrecap.com because we have all the scoop on your favorite talent stars. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at SamanthaX373. I'm Samantha for Town Recap, and now you know what's hot. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Well, I think you should hit that subscribe button down below, and then we can talk.